Okay guys, I wanted to show you how to properly calibrate the controller and the quadcopter. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to calibrate the controller by holding this red button and turning on the switch. It's flashing, so it's wanting to bind with the burn. So you're going to have to go and plug in the quadcopter. And I pinch these clips down so I don't wear them out. So it should go right in. Okay, it just bind. That noise you're hearing from the bird, it's it's going and uh, getting warmed up and ready. You're going to hear two beeps from this. There's two beeps, so what it's doing is letting you know that the quadcopter is ready to be calibrated. You have to wait for those two beeps. If you don't, it will not uh, calibrate. You'll sit here all day trying to rotate this. So you want to rotate it three times. Just one, two, three. You're going to go tilt the nose up. The lights are all flashing green. So I go counterclockwise. So you're going to go one, two, three. As you can see, amber on the top is amber. On the bottom is green. So we are calibrated and ready to go. Um, another little quick note is to calibrate the quadcopter. You want to hold these two levers down to the bottom left hand corner. You can see the lights are flashing. Okay, now they stopped so you can let go. Now the gyros are calibrated. You, you got to do that, especially, you know, after it's been traveling from China. Um, you know, the gyros are probably all thrown off. So, all right. So I went ahead and got the memory card in there. It's pretty simple. You just go and insert it, push it, it locks. And like I was saying earlier, um, do not go and take that SD card out and put it in your phone slot because um, it will reformat it. And then from there, you go to put it back in here and it will not go and film again. You won't see a film button. So to go ahead and film, you want to press this long hold for a second and let off. Okay, now it's showing that we're filming. So every time you're done filming or before the battery goes dead or you shut off the TX, please hold this button down and it will stop filming. It saves the film for you. That way it don't get corrupted. Okay, uh, for this, uh, take a regular picture. You're just going to press this once. Okay, the camera signal just showed that you took a picture. So now we have a picture on there. All right, so just wanted to show you guys that. Um, it will reformat if you put it in your uh, Android phone and uh, try to watch the video. Um, it won't do it if you put it in the ST um, USB holder and plug it into your PC or laptop. It'll, it will keep it still formatted for the bird. So if you have a problem with that, that's what's causing that. It's being reformatted. As soon as I can figure out what the format is for that uh, on the computer, I'll let you guys know so that way... If for some reason you did reformat it by accident, we can get it back on there to be able to run in the bird. So, all right, guys, let's go check it out and see if this thing flies. Uh, just remember, when you press this red button, it's going to arm it and it's going to spin the motors. I'm not going to do it right here because I'm on the bench. And then once they're spinning and you got it kind of warming up, ready to go, you're going to do the one key. So you press that and it'll, it'll hover probably about uh, two or three meters off the ground. And uh, that's the same way to land. You can press that and it'll come back down and land automatically. Uh, right now I do have it in GPS hold. So that's altitude hold on A. You click at the B, that's GPS. You can see the signal came on, okay? And over here, um, this button here is altitude. I mean, excuse me, is headless mode. So you click at the B, you can see the all direction sign right there. That means it's in uh, headless mode, which I'm not going to use or test out. I really don't like it, but it does work and get you out of a situation. If you flew at a range to where you can't quite tell where you're at, click it in headless mode and go ahead and bring it back to you. As long as you're in a straight line and still see it that way and you lose, you're still in a straight line and you lose uh, sight of it, of knowing if it's going right or left, put it in headless mode and you can pull the lever back. And nine out of ten times, you'll you'll end up getting it coming back to you, at least close enough to where you could see it, reline it up, or also you can hit the return to home button as well. So there's other, there's different options for you right there. So, all right, let's see if this thing's gonna fly, guys. Stay tuned.
There we go. One button. Got 15 satellites. I hope we can see that there. 15 satellites. One key takeoff. Here we go. I'm going to go and take a shot together with it. On my camera there. That is awesome. Okay, I'm going to start the record button. There we go. Oh, that was a picture. Let's do record. There we go. Okay, we got 16 satellites. Let's see what happens, guys. I don't know if you guys know that, but you see over there, that's the famous pole. But I'm on the opposite side now. So we're going to stay away from that pole <laughs> with the new bird. And so far it's really nice, man. It's it's quiet. It's very quiet and smooth. I can't believe how smooth this thing is. Wow. I'm telling you guys, if you've seen the other, uh, have you guys seen the other Bugs 2C I got straight out of the box? I wish I would have filmed it right off the bat because it is not smooth like this. It sounds terrible and sounds like the motors are ready to die. And the, uh, thank you. Definitely, definitely, uh, what a difference.
it's not too bad. You can see where it took off at, right here. So, what is that, a couple meters away? That ain't bad. All right, I'm gonna finish flying this thing, have some fun. All right guys, my final conclusion about the Bugs 2C, very awesome. When you get the one that actually works great, it is uh, the funnest thing I just, <laughs> Uh, I think I've gotten I mean this is really awesome you know um, you know if you end up having a problem with any of your quads whatever company you go to don't give up it's frustrating but just keep working at it eventually uh, hopefully you know at least uh, part of the time the companies will get back to you so I'm glad I got the replacement quad so and this one's working excellent uh, the one before it it's like night and day it's like uh, flying some cheap little uh, brush motor quad I mean, it ran so rough and GPS wouldn't work in it uh, but this one everything's working great perfect nice and smooth everything works and I'm happy with it so definitely a good score guys you guys should get one anyways they're still a good quad uh, there's always that one uh, bad lemon out of the bunch of any quads that you ever buy so um, you know don't be uh, uh, discouraged on not buying it is a good quad it's well worth the money so all right you guys thanks a lot appreciate it. it's getting hot out here i'm gonna go cheers and happy flying